Hey there. Okay, we have our final lesson on murmur diphthongs today. And we have all three of our murmur diphthongs say the same sound today. Er, er, and er. Okay, so before we talk about the er ones, let's play with the er sound. Ready? Let's do some rhyming. Burn, turn. They rhyme good. Lurk, murk. They rhyme. Um, first, spurt. They don't rhyme. That was a tricky one. All right, good. Repeat my word lantern was the first sound. Oh, pattern, first sound. All right, good. Blend my word. Er, 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 burn, st, er, stir, j, er, m, z, germs. Good job. Let's find the middle sound. Here we go. Turn. Earn, er, third, erd, er, um, verse, ers, er, curve, k, erv, er, good job. Okay, segment my words, swirl, s, w, er, oh, all right, good. Um, curl, k, er, oh, squirt. Her. Okay, now say her and d heard. Say per and s purse. Say burr and n burn. Say turk and e turkey. Good. All right, say heard without d her. Say hurt without t her. Say Burn without n, burr. All right, and let's change. Let's see. Say firm and change er to r. Farm. Say hard and change r to er. Heard. Say turn and change er to or. Torn. And say short. Change or to her shirt. All right, good job. Let's look at some uh, spellings with our er words, okay? You know, it's really easy with or and r. You can hear it real well. Report, sports, market, factory, farmers, sale, yard, camp, car, card. I don't know what, camp, I don't know why camp is in there. <laughs> um, but it's real easy to hear the r and the or. Right, and you know which one to use. R is A R and O, or is O R. But with er, it's hard to tell which one. So you just kind of have to remember or look it up if you don't know. Okay, we do mark it the same way, and you do know how to read it. Okay, it's easier to read it than to spell it. Okay, so this word is her. She fixed her hair. Okay. Here we go. We have you are in this one. Turn. He tur he went to make a right turn at the red light. And this word is sir. You should say yes, sir, to a man. Okay, let's look at this word. We have you are. And then we have that P-L-E ending. Okay, so that's two syllables. Purple. Remember the P-L-E, remember that it's going to make that uh sound in between the P and the L. Purple. I have a purple marker. Okay, now this word is blur, right? And when you are going to add an ending, you've got to be careful because if you had, if you just added that I-N-G, remember it could get to the vowel and it would make it blue ring or something like that so if you're blurring the lines you need to double the r okay burn though when you are burning something or if you burned something you already have that in there so you don't need to, to um add something okay now um when we do dictation today i'm going to tell you which one okay okay all right, we're going to do one of each, and then we'll just go to reading our words. All right, first word is fern, 
fern. Your turn. Let's count the sounds in fern. F, er, n, f, er, n, three sounds. And er is er. Okay. F, er, n, f, er, n. Prove it if you need to. Okay, let's do one with you are. Here we go. This is our you are word. Turn, turn. You turn. Let's count the sounds in turn. T, er, n, t, er, n. Three sounds in turn. T, er, n, t, u, r, n. Good. And then let's do one more with i, r. Stir, stir, stir. Your turn. Stir your sugar in your coffee in the morning. It'll be really good. Stir. All right, let's count the sounds in stir. S, t, er. Er, this one's an IR. S, t, er, s, t, er. S, T, I, R. All right, good job. Find the word. Uh, find two words that rhyme with each other. They're not spelled the same, but they do rhyme. What are they? Fern and turn. Good, erase them. And our last word is stir. All right, good job. Erase. Let's read our. Transfer card. Okay, ER says ER, UR says ER, IR says ER. Okay, here we go. Let's read our words. Yurt, firm, her, sir, surf, perk, bird, first, nurse, shirt, turtle, burner, burger, center, C is going to be the rainbow S because of the E. Spider, jerk, whirling, herding, turned, sternest. Okay, one thing I notice on nurse is it's got that E at the end. If it didn't have an E, it might look like it was a plural word. So we put that E on the end on purpose. Okay, here we go. I got my sentence. On Thursday, Curtis went surfing. When did Curtis go surfing? Echo me. The first flakes of winter fell on the curb. Where did the flakes fall? Okay, good. Bert wore a dirty shirt. What did Bert wear? Have you ever had a turkey burger? All right, good job with your er words. You'll have to study those extra hard to remember which one's which. Okay, good luck.